Hello everyone, my name is Anuj Pachel. I'm a final year MBBS student at Government Medical College Nagpur. I scored an all-in rank of 885 in NEET 2018. And today on the Philo channel, we'll be analyzing how to prioritize what are your study goals and how should you sequentially go about them. When you study for NEET UG, there are hundreds of topics to study from. And naturally, there will be some topics in which you'll be doing good and some topics which will be not so good. So you have to prioritize them in a way that you also pay attention to the good ones as well as getting a good grip on the bad ones. Because the most important resource that any NEET aspirant has is time. And time is very valuable. Once it is lost, it is never we're going to come back to you again. So today I'm going to help you decide which topics to do first using a very simple framework. It was designed by Dwight Eisenhower, an American military officer. He made the graph on two axes. One was the urgency axis, the other was the importance axis. As you go from the left to right, the urgency axis improves. That means there will be much more urgency towards the right side of the axis and from the bottom to the top, the importance of anything increases. So you get four different quadrants. There is quadrant which is important plus urgent. The next quadrant is important plus not urgent. The next one is not important but urgent. And lastly, it is not important not urgent. So now the most important quadrant for you becomes what? It obviously becomes the win which is important plus urgent. So you've got to get these topics in your mind ASAP and you have to act on it the very first priority list. Next you've got the topics which are important. That means you have to do them but they are not so urgent. So you'll do them after you have done the topics which have a lot more urgency in your mind. So let's say that you've got a test of thermodynamics coming up very very soon but you are bad at electrochemistry as well. So urgency is much more in thermodynamics and it's also important. So first you will do thermodynamics but there is not urgency in electrochemistry but it is also very important so after doing that you will do electrochemistry many of the experts say that you should spend all your energy into perfecting the topics in which you can't even lose a single mark so those are topics which are important and you have to focus on them no matter what urgent or non urgent aaj ya kal tumhe use karna hi padega the third category is the topics which are not really that important but they are sort of urgent to do why because you might be having a test uh, on a chapter which is not really that important so do you absolutely have to do them well it depends the most important depending factor over here is that if you feel like that topic will drain a lot of your energy and time and you still have got many other important topics to do as well do them at the last but if you think that all the other topics are good you must complete this as well because this will add a sense of completion to your preparation even if it's urgent or non urgent does not matter so overall this category would be called as beware and lastly there are certain things which are absolutely useless that is not important and absolutely not urgent so these basically do not involve studies whatsoever if you are doing some sort of study there will probably be a topic obviously which will have some some sort of uh, importance in your mind so this will be things like social media or going out or something which will you know destroy your productivity uh, but please make sure that if these things recharge you they are definitely not not important that means they are important so the last quadrant which is present should be called as limit the first quadrant was do it now second was decide third was beware and last one was limit i hope this framework will help you deciding on which topics you have to do first which you have to do later 11th ka padhna 12th ka padhna it all depends on this exact quadrant system which i just described and remember while studying if you are stuck anywhere if you have any question any sort of concept which you don't understand just click a photo of it and upload it to the philo app within 60 seconds you'll be connected to a tutor and that tutor will solve that question and solve many other questions that you ask them thank you so much for watching please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button goodbye